Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Today, we're going to do installment number eight of my SQL Server Fundamentals course that I've been building up over time. And in the last installment, we created tables using SQL Server Management Studio. This time, we're going to create tables using T-SQL. Now, if you are embarking on a career as a database administrator, and it's a valid career even in 2019, it's absolutely going to have a very, very long future, get in on it. When you are working as a DBA, you do not want to be dependent upon the GUI. You've got to learn T-SQL, and you've got to learn how to do things through automation and Automation is coding, and coding to create stuff and manage stuff inside of SQL Server is T-SQL. So we're going to go over how to use T-SQL to create tables. Let's go check it out. All right, so what we have here is a very simple uh, query. Now, the commands are really straightforward. Create table. That's our fundamentals. That's where we're starting from, create table. Now, we do have to define a schema, which right now I'm using DBO, and we have to give the table a name, and in this case, person. Now, as we did in the previous video when we used Management Studio, we're basically doing the exact same thing here. We're giving each column a name, person ID, first name, last name, date of birth, and we're giving each column a data type, integer, variable character, variable character, date, and then we're doing additional definitions around those data types. In this case, it's an integer, int, int, with an identity column. My identity column means every time we insert data, it will automatically generate IDs for us. It is a common way to do primary keys inside of tables. It's not the only way. And there's a whole bunch of discussion around that, but it goes way beyond fundamentals. Let's just take it as written that this is fairly common fairly workable and you know lots of people do it this way for very good reasons but there's a bunch of nuance that we're not going to get into today then we define whether or not the columns are null this one is not null first name variable character a length of 50 not null last name's variable character with a length of 50 not null and then date of birth is a date date does not have any additional explanations around it it's just a date and then null now, that's all within this set of parentheses that you can see start and end. That defines the columns. And then we have to tell where we are putting the data. This is going to go on primary. Every single database that you get has initially a primary file group that you'll be using to store your data on. You can add and modify file groups and then control how they go. Again, beyond the basics, so we don't want to get into that. Now, I'm just going to run this script. And the message come back that it completed successfully. And if we take a look at Object Explorer, we can drill down to our databases and go down to our database fundamentals database where I've did this work. And then we expand it out. And then there we see dbo.person and the columns that we define, the integer, the varchar50, the varchar50, and the date. Everything exactly as we described it. Now, if we didn't want to keep this table the way we can get rid of it is we can use drop table. I'm not going to run it because we're going to keep this one, but um, drop table and then the schema and the name. And the reason we have to do this is because you can have the same table name in different schemas. So if you create schemas, and we will be talking about schemas in later videos, if you create schemas, then that means you can have more than one table name the same if as long as the schema or the owner however you want to think about it is different all right so that's it create table is very straightforward simple to use and again there's a gazillion possible permutations on this i will provide a link in um in the video um, i'm sorry in the in the description of the video so you can go and look at the full syntax of the create table command now, don't go away. If the fundamentals things are helping, the more votes I get, the more of these I will record faster. I need to know that this is useful and that people are following. So please, please 
hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment so that I know to make more of these, and I will. Before we go away, now we've only scratched the surface on creating tables. We haven't started talking about all the various mechanisms that are involved. I want to build on this stuff because I'm trying to take the approach of fundamentals, of very, very core knowledge. And rather than throw, you know, 50,000 line scripts at you, you'll get to those eventually, trust me. I want to try to keep things simple and tight. So we're, we're learning single concepts in small chunks so it can build over time. That's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.